What's up everyone? Welcome to another video with the GR Yaris. I've actually driven this car for quite a bit now and I've already found five cool tips and tricks that you will want to know if you're looking to get a GR Yaris or if you already have one. These tips range from cool tidbits all the way to game changers so you want to stick around for all of them. Also if you're a GR owner and know even more please let me know in the comments. Okay how do I get out of here now? Without further ado, let's get into it. So some of you may know I have a Mercedes and thus I have a Mercedes app, but once I got a Toyota app, I realized just how far Mercedes is behind. Of course, it shows you all the basic stuff, such as what car you have, the fuel, the mileage, even the exact location, which I'll not show. The cool thing is that you have driving analytics, so you don't have to do anything other than connect the phone to the car and it will record where you're going, speed, distance, even heartbreak and acceleration, the consumption, that's something we should blur as well. Uh, and you can also check if it's a business trip. What does this do? Yeah, well, that, that was a business trip, guys. Just, just a business trip. Secondly, you know how all cars have warranties, right? And if you try to modify them, you can kiss the warranty goodbye. Well, not with Toyota, to some extent. You see these vents here? They usually have some metal thing blocking them and they just kind of look like some fake vent or something. They are actually functional if you modify the car. So my car already has the air duct that you can buy from Toyota, which you connect to the front, and it's meant to redirect the air from the front to the brakes and the wheels. It's quite a cheap upgrade as well, and it's OEM, so you're not gonna void your warranty. There's another under tray that you can put where it redirects the air from under the car into the engine and the gearbox. Now these are not needed, but if you plan to do track time with this car, you should have them. Talking about warranties, sources tell me that if you plan to track your GR Yaris, you won't void your warranty. So not only do they still cover you under track time, they also provide you parts to help you perform better on the track. That's how you know they're serious about the rallying. And here's a source that I found from Western Toyota. The use of the vehicle for track days or similar events does not invalidate the vehicle's warranty. To be honest, I haven't found any sources from just general Europe warranty because all the sources that I find come from the UK, but I guess it's safe to assume that the whole of Europe, Australia, and you know all the other countries that get the Yaris would have a similar warranty, right? It's worth mentioning though that if you modify your car and they're not the OEM Toyota parts, you don't get the track day warranty. Matter of fact, you don't get any warranty, so keep that in mind. We all know that the GR Yaris has a small trunk, so don't expect to go anywhere far with it. But did you know it has a bit of extra space under the trunk? If you lift this thing up, it will reveal the battery, and to the left and the right of it, you can see some space which I've personally already filled with like safety tech, but you can put whatever you want in here, I guess. There's a little bit of space there as well. Not much, but a little bit more doesn't hurt, right? Right, Tom? Let's see if Tom fits in here. And I saved the best for last. I think we all know by now that this car has a soft limiter. Not too amazing considering this is meant to be this very analog sports car, but there's a way to bypass that. First off, you gotta put the car in sport and then take off traction control. And if you try now, And that's what I'm talking about. And you can even bang it off the limiter and you can do like a little bit of a two step or that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. But you can just rev it and even normally. And you can hear the turbo spool up a lot more now. This is how it's meant to be. Every time you need to rev it guys, sport and export mode. All in all, these are the five cool things I've found thus far about the GR Yaris. Again, if you have some more, please let me know in the comments. Hopefully we can make yet another video of this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one.